Hello everybody, my name's Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play The Nazareth Empire in U4. So last time we were attacking this tiny, uh, OPM that Sub-Saharan is basically worthless. Mostly just because I wanted that extra 25 piety. So that, that should be over soon. Um, I don't know how much it's actually going to cost to annex it. Um... No, I don't want to protect it. I guess I can't see how much it's going to cost to annex, but... It should be fine. We'll just annex it and then everything will be good. England wants military access. Sure. Who's England fighting? Scotland. Aquitaine. Yeah, okay. No one likes Aquitaine, so I'm just going to let you have access there. So we're just spending a little bit of money. We're actually making money now, so that's good. We're spending a lot on army maintenance. We have way too many mercenaries. We have a stupid amount of mercenaries. But we kind of need them. That's the issue. Who is this again? That's a lot of tits, right? Yeah. We called Diplomat. We don't need them there. So I don't know if I want to disband the mercenaries. Like, we only have 9,000 men without the mercenaries. Like, that's, that's really bad. So we're actually going to disband one of the armies. We'll disband the smaller one. And then hopefully, yeah, there we go. We're going to make 10 ducats. So every, like, two months, we'll be able to actually recruit another soldier. Which will be good to slowly replace the mercenaries. Because I don't want to be spending 5,000 ducats on them. Yeah, this, this should be done fairly soon. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Every, every, just like a... Oh, we actually converted somewhere. Excellent. So, Girona, let's see, where else could we convert? So, that was like a base tax 4, it wasn't great, but... Base tax 3, 36 months. What is our missionary strength right now? Being pious, base value... That's like 6%. Uh, non extended culture, that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult. So maybe we should go down here somewhere that actually is... 27 months, that's not even 3 years. 24 months, that's 2 years. Yeah, we'll go to Galicia. What's even the base full risk? 3 because we have the missionary there. Okay. We'll send you there. Do you have a general? No. Why do you not have a general? 4-4. Four, four. Oh, because I have the general. The better general down there in Africa. I, just so we could easily kill the other army without having to really worry too much. Oh, we're actually... What's the minus 10% mean? I actually, actually don't know. Our Diplo rank's awful, though. Lose one stability or lose... Serious. Why do we always get these events? Like, just bad events. Like, I... But I don't want to lose... I can't lose the admin points. Like, two loans is worth, I think, an admin point. We could raise war taxes. That's going to cost 50 admin points. 75 to reduce by two. Really, I don't think inflation's that big of an issue right now. We owe, like, 25,000 ducats, but... It's fine. There we go. 100%. Full annexation, gonna be two prestige. Who are we even getting aggressive expansion on? No people. Yeah, once again, people who don't matter. And then twenty percent overextension. We can get a protectorate. Like what's what is a protectorate exactly? That like that's, that's losing fifty admin or fifty capital points for no good reason. Well, let's annex them. And, I'll be fine. And yeah, then you got 500 years of nationalism. Excellent. Okay. We're only embargoing. Don't we have more? Yeah, we have to go. Why are we not embargoing the Golden Horde? One sec. Yeah, we should embargo. Let's get those uh, power projection points back up. So we're doing a little bit of colonization. How much is it going to cost? 75, 6, 3 years. Yeah, but I really want... Oh, we're... Why am I bad at this? I really want these first ideas. Liz Unity plus 25 is going to be super useful. 
So I don't really want to spend the admin points here. But I'm going to because... Yeah, then how's it going to... 50 military points. Yeah, we're going to do it. I don't... I, I'm not... I'm not... I don't like it. But we're going to do it. That's really all we can do. Because I don't have any troops down there in Africa. So if I... If anything bad happens down there, then I'm just kind of screwed. Okay. Get some peasants up there, that's fine. So, where's our capital? Our capital's here. And that's also our trade capital? Yeah. 60%. Uh, our 4 4 against a 3 1 9 4 9 6. I guess we'll go there. I don't think they're gonna rise up in the time. 93.6. Are they gonna rise up? In the five percent. If they do, then I'm gonna be very frustrated. But I don't think that's gonna happen. That extra money would be so useful, though. Five percent. That's, that's like five percent of thirteen. That's not that much. It's like 0.7 or something. There's a lot of men here. So we're going to be losing money for a little bit. Let's go back here just to secure that. Could we get the next Diplo upgrade? That will put us ahead of time. And I think that gives me a trade bonus. Yeah, have time trade efficiency plus 20%. Very useful. So we got another place. We're, we're almost at 50%. It's actually easier to convert some Catholics than it is to convert these animists. Okay, 24 months. Two years. In Veluso or something. Somewhere... Let's get my army. There, okay. I mean, they're in the same culture group. He also doesn't give a debuff to that. Yeah, so in a few years, we'll have two more conversions, and then once we hit 400 Diplo points, or 400 Admin points, we'll just be able to get a straight up 25% increase. So that'll get us up to almost 75% religious, uh, religious unity. Which would be really good, so we're not spending, you know, 5,000 extra percent on the uh, stability increases. Conquer provinces, minus one, plus two for long time rivals. We're getting an extra leader without upkeep. I would love to be able to get to the plus one one one. But really, that's not not really in the cards right now. I cannot afford a war with Aquitaine. Like who's Hogbury, Bohemia, and Lombardia? That's like a lot of people. Military. Let's just look at let's just look at Aquitaine right now. They have twenty four thousand men. That's more men than we have. When do we get 171 ducats? How about just always I guess we've just been building them up, and I haven't really noticed. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're gonna get four cavalry with that. One, two, and then we'll just wait a few more months. We'll have ten, four. I don't know if that's a great combination. We have nine, six here. Four regular cavalry. I'm just going to split off these uh, two extra horses and send them over here. Yeah, but that, that'll give them more cavalry than infantry. we get a debuff from that in combat. So I don't know if I really want that or not. I'm just going to disband these horses. Let's get a little bit more money out of it. 15 ducats, excellent. So we should be making money a lot faster now. We can build another cavalry. I wish we could set rally points like Victoria too. That'd be super useful. I don't think you can. I don't. I don't get why we can't. Where is our revolt risk? Like revolt risk is pretty all right. I mean, it could be better, but it also could be a lot worse. These places are basically going to never convert because it's like their base tax is so high and they're not accepted cultures. Which sucks, but what can you do? So 
how long until those guys are done. 24th of April. At the end of the month. You know, just gotta build up that strong army. There we go. Yeah, you go, you go there. These mercenaries, nine infantry. Let's go over here. Those guys. Military leader just died. Who was that? That was not our fourth. Okay, we got still got a good general. Or actually, our worst general died. Not spending the fifty admin or fifty military points on that though. It's not really seem worth it right now. So we're gonna go 10-4, and then once we get artillery, we're probably gonna get like five or six artillery, so it'll be 10-3-6. Or 10-4-6. I don't know if that's a great number. Wait, why am I sending I don't want an all-horse army there. I don't know what I was thinking. We already have horses for another regiment. Well, let's span. Nah, I'm not going to span those two horses. I don't think you get manpower back for disbanding armies. We only gave five. Only gave 500 manpower a month, which is actually really bad. It's not what I would like it at, to be at. We'll send troops up north, basically just to protect against uh, Aquitaine. If Aquitaine declares war on us, we are definitely going to stay on the defensive. Not going to go out and attack them. Okay, 25 piety. We're already at max piety, and I don't want to, you know, drop under that. Yeah. War risk is pretty bad in those provinces. Friendly troops, nice, three, excellent. So once this place is done, 70% will be done in April of next year. So about a, I think that like a half a year from now. Once we get money, we'll be, we'll be building nine, or 10 infantry. But no, we don't, we don't need to build 10 infantry. We need to build 7, because we have 3 infantry here. So just leave 2 cavalry left over. So I guess we could have 10-5, just for now, before, um, before cannons show up. You know, Greater Poland's doing something. Plus disability, that'd be nice. I, I would like some more stability. But I also like admin points. We're getting 10, that's actually quite a lot. Oh yeah, we do have a level 2 Diplo, or level 2 admin guy. And Diplo points kind of suck right now, but it's not too big of an issue. So what is this a war over? What are they fighting about? Attacker against Genoa. So they're trying to take Savoy. And Savoy is over... Opportunity Conquest of Savoy. Our boy, is this not against? Okay, they're trying to take this. Genoa's just a war leader, okay. This is like... By June or July, we should have that extra 25%. There's been no uprisings here, we're almost done that. 4% nationalist. What's the difference between minimum and like just revolt risk like normal? Like minimum is minus 7.3, so does that mean they'll never rise up or? I'm not 100 percent too sure. I don't know what the difference is. Excellent, so we got that. We have another we only have 27s, so we don't have any more 24s. Bought a hose right there. So we're going to send our troops down there. So let's just look at the uh, religious map mode. It, it's not looking too pretty, but we are getting the Sunni religion into Spain. Or into Iberia perfectly. Other than the, you know, the, the little bump we've had at the very beginning. Yeah, okay. The little bump at the beginning and, and like, right now. So they're going to rise up in Toledo here. And... Camari? I don't know where that is. Uh, so, I'm gonna send these 14 troops down there to Toledo because we're scum. Uh, then, is that down here? Uh, let's see. Kumari. Oh, right there, okay. Excellent. 
Ah, okay. So how are we going to get troops down there? I guess we just ship them over. So you guys get on the boats. Oh, okay, that's actually in a different port. I don't know if this will eventually just select that, because I know sometimes it just says yes. Okay, yeah, you, can, you guys get on the transport. Oh, are you trying to take these lands? I don't I don't like that you might be trying to take those lands. Do we have military access for these guys? I don't remember. Oh, they'll actually give me their trade power. That is very, very useful to know. I need to see how much trade power they have afterwards. Okay, go there. And then just walk all the way down here. Or I guess you gotta get off the boats first. And then walk all the way down here. And then you guys go here. So we're just going to put that up there. We'll look at trade power. So they have 20% trade power here. Only 1% there. And then they, they probably have some down here, right? Yeah. But that, that, they're already transferring that trade power north anyway. So that doesn't really matter. They're actually 20% though. That'd be like a, almost 100% power in this node. Which sounds very nice. Where are our troops? They're not even in our lands yet. I kind of want to just press the button, to be honest. Just to get this off the screen. We're successful. Oh, okay. Our arms are under attack revolt. Under attack, okay. We can actually, ooh, get this idea. 400 avenue points, but this unity is up 68%. And then Leon, we'll just get that done. And you, economy, transfer, yeah, give me your trade power. Oh, not all of it. 15% sounds really useful, thanks. So how much did we get now? 17, they, they lost 3%. Which I guess is okay. Army. Yeah, you guys get out of there. We'll send the reinforcements that are 4 4. Is this our. No, that's not our mercenary army. Our mercenary army's down here. So we should build. What was it? 7 infantry? I think that was the number. And then Leon converting some sent troops up there. And we have reached a uh, good time to end the episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Ansem. If you have enjoyed my thumbs up, if you did not enjoy, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.